Hi everyone, Joanne here with the work in progress and I wanted to quickly pop on today and just give you a little look at my hutch that I decorated for the fall into Thanksgiving. Um, hopefully better late than never and I do hope that everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving and if you ventured out on Black Friday I do hope that you got some amazing deals. So I'm going to show you how I decorated this hutch using items that I've already thrifted previously and some that I've gotten recently. I'm going to start up here with this wall hanging that I got at Goodwill not too long ago. I believe I paid three something for it and not only does it have a Halloween feel, I think it has a nice feel going into the fall and Thanksgiving as well. And then here is a look at the top shelf where I put a gather banner. It does have little tiny lights in it. A bit hard to see in the daylight, I know, but uh, there are lights in it. And I tacked that up using some hot glue because it won't damage either the hutch or the gather sign. And then this you may recall from some friend mail that I received not too long ago. And I filled it up with some beautiful sunflowers and pumpkins and gourds. Next to it is a rope pumpkin that I made not too long ago, just sitting around looking for something to do. On the other side is an insulator. I picked this up not too long ago at a thrift store that sadly was going out of business and turned it upside down and put a battery operated tea light candle in it. And in the evening time, this looks really pretty when it's lit up. This sign here I've had for a while. And that pumpkin at the top of it, I can actually turn around and it looks, although it looks red in the picture, it is orange. I might have to repaint it again. Uh, but for the seasons, I can switch it from an apple to a pumpkin. And then down here on the middle shelf, I have an amber tea light, or an amber fairy light there, which I do not keep going all of the time because it is obviously uh, fire burning and I don't want that going all the time. Next to it I put these two small gold framed cards. They were from Thanksgiving. Got them in a whole bunch of lot of cards that I purchased. They were Christmas and Thanksgiving cards in it and I showed these on a DIY not too long ago. And then next to it in the back there, you'll see another piece that I received in some friend mail. And I really like how the golds and coppers in that piece back there tie in with the gold frame here and then the amber in that fairy light. And then here are some uh, creamers and little teapots that I have. And I do like to change out the greenery in these to match the season. And then here on the very bottom is a little light up kind of fall village. I got this not too long ago. Super excited to have it. Here we have a little bed and breakfast. And here the folks are bringing the corn that they may have just picked. From back there is the scarecrow with the little squirrel on his shoulder and a tree in the background behind that. And then here we have Johnson's Market and a couple of chickens in the background. And then here is Potter's Sawmill. And I just sprinkled some of the leaves that came with it here. And then here, in an attempt to cover up the cord I taped some of the leaves on the white cord so you, it wouldn't be quite as noticeable. Just trying to cover it up a little bit. And I think it did an okay job. And that looks really pretty too. This little village looks really pretty when the lights are dimmer. 
So, that is my fall into Thanksgiving hutch. I hope you enjoyed this quickie little video, and I will see you on Sunday for my weekly Sunday thrift haul. And until then, everyone, as I always say at the end of my videos, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed my hutch, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. See you on Sunday, everyone. Bye for now.